shocking, and revealing. It kind of made me reflect on the meeting I had with Dr. King. And I asked Dr. King, why would you go to Memphis if they threaten your life? And Dr. King, he said, John, he said, I have to go to Memphis, Tennessee to help those to stand up that can stand up on their own. In 1968, four years on after Turkish Cypriots were denied their constitutional and human rights, a group of brave young athletes took a stand for equality in a move that shook the world. 44 years on and the battle for human rights continues. London is gearing up for the 2012 Olympics and yet Turkish Cypriot athletes are still forced to look on, embargoed and isolated. They remain shackled in life and shackled in sport. The Olympic Charter states that involvement in sport is a human right. Why is it then that Turkish Cypriot athletes are forced to pay the price for a political problem in Cyprus which prevents them from participating in the Olympic Games? Turkey Cypriots today won't be participating, sadly, in the London Olympics, which is which is which is quite sad for Turkey Cypriots. How do you think we can, you know, roll down and break those barriers so that hopefully for Rio in in four years' time we can see Turkey Cypriots there as well? It's really sad when people who are good at sport and um, and you know they don't get the opportunity to do sport um, because you know we can't all be sort of a level students or geniuses in universities and things and sometimes sport gives them that pathway to find their own sort of like achievement and success and and various things like that and i think for that to be taken away and not given the chance it's a very very sad thing indeed there are over 30 sporting federations in north cyprus producing top class athletes many of whom are of Olympic calibre. Take Taekwondo for example, our top eight athletes regularly win gold medals at the international competitions that they fight in. These champions will not be able to compete in London 2012 for the simple reason that they're Turkish Cypriot. If we look at the example of the Turkish Cypriots yep. and the fact that they're excluded because of politics, that's right. I mean, what can we do to change that? Yeah. Well, again, I don't, I don't mind. I don't care whether you're African American, Black British, Turkish, uh, Turkish Cypriot. Look, the lesson is the same. Unless you fight for your rights, for your human rights, collectively, powerfully, nothing changes. And I know your struggle. I've supported it as you've supported the, the broader black struggle. Yep. We're in this together and uh, we've always uh, extended a hand of solidarity uh, to your community to help you confront the persistent inequalities. It's not right and together we'll defeat it. Unless the world stands up to this injustice, come the 2016 Games in Rio, Turkish Cypriot athletes will again be discriminated against, unable to participate in the greatest sporting event on earth.